Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from the closest brewery to my house, uh, Parkway Brewing out of Salem, Virginia. Uh, I know all those guys over there, Ryan and, and uh, everybody over there. I mean, uh, they, they do some wonderful stuff. Uh, it is very nice to have a brewery of this caliber this close to me. I like all their stuff. Their Get Bent Mountain IPA. They have a, a whole line. They have stout, I mean, porters and IPAs and blondes. And, and now they've come out with a Session IPA, Factory Girl. And this is a low ABV beer, 4.5%. The IBUs on this one says it's 55. Commercial description it says, brewed a celebration of Beth Macy's first book, Factory Man, and as a nod to American workers everywhere, we are proud to present Factory Girl, Session IPA. This deliciously complex Session IPA is lighter in alcohol, but not in flavor. The citrusy sweet, but hoppy finish, and its all-day drinkability will leave you wanting more. Perfect for summer days by the water with a good book. Well, it got up to, into the 70, low 70s here today and prelude to the snow sleep mix they're calling for on Wednesday. So, uh, nice warm day here uh, as opposed to the cool weather or almost cold. I, some of the days have been really chilly. And I figured I'd bring this one out. And we got picked this up on the beer run over the weekend. So, let's get on with this one, guys. Uh, this is a, a lot in line with your uh, your Founders uh, Session IPA and uh, Stone's go-to IPA. Uh, so I think Founders is their all-day IPA. I think it's Founders. I'm not sure. They all run together when you get old. I guess you've done as many as I have, guys. Uh, food pairings for this beer. Cuisine is curry, Thai, cheeses, peppery, Monterey, pepper jack, sharp, blue, cheddar, your more pungent cheeses, and the meat is poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon, and I will add grilled meat to that list, but drink it with whatever you like. Nice little hit, a little bit of smoke, and this is a fairly new offering from them. I don't think they've been doing it for a couple of months now, so. Decided to pick one of them up and uh, review it for you guys. I've not had this beer there uh, or anywhere, so this will be a first timer for me. I usually drink their Get Bent Mountain IPA when I'm over there. It has a little more alcohol and more pleasing to my taste. So we'll see if this one is just as good. With that pour, about a half a finger of head. Uh, it seems to be a little lighter in, uh, in color than the uh, your typical IPAs, uh, a light, it, it ain't so much the macro lager golden, but it's, uh, it's, it's close. So we're figuring, uh, it's, a uh, lighter on the malt side, it has a lighter, lighter on the color side as well. And it's fairly clear, it's got a chill haze on it, but I can see the bulb through it. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Looks pretty good, let's get a nose on it, first beer of the day. Oh yes, very nice citrusy smell. Wow, a little bit of some tropical fruit notes in there, maybe some mango or oranges. Very pleasing aroma. But uh, the biggest, uh, the biggest notes on it is the citrusiness of the hops. Smells pretty good. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Very pleasant, very easy drinking. 
what what I would consider maybe a lawnmower IPA. Something in the summertime that you could grab, or on a warm day, uh, even here in the fall, that you could grab after you've done raking leaves or whatever you've done to work up a sweat outside. Uh, or whatever. I mean, if you're inside working, if you're cleaning out the garage or painting the, the house or whatever, uh, something that you can drink and go back to work. It's not going to knock you down. You're not going to get a big buzz off of it. And uh, I won't lie to you, it does have a strong bitterness on the back end with 55 IBUs. But it has a nice citrusy tangy aspect to the hops. There is no alcohol taste whatsoever. I decided to bring the pint glass out for this one. You could use the Becker, the Sign, the Mug, the Sidale. Since it was a lower ABV beer, I decided to go ahead and bring this out so the double glass. Uh, other than the citrusiness and a hint of some lighter fruit in there, pears, apples, uh, oranges. But I will, uh, I mean, I don't know if I would consider this a transitional beer with the bitterness it has. It may be a tad on the bitter side if you've been drinking uh, the macro lagers or the pale ales. But uh, fairly decent beer, very, very tasty, uh, would go great with some meals. Uh, uh, especially maybe even a lunch, lunchtime meal where you could drink maybe one or two of these and go back to work. So, uh, not to be uh, face down in the dirt or anything like that from drinking a nine, eight, nine, ten percent beer. So, all right, guys, uh, let's try the fridge. Let it warm up just a hair, let her taste it, come back and do the final chug, see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on it 20, 30 minutes or so. Very pleasant. Uh, Nothing off putting on this. Just a tad, like I said, <clears throat> on the bitter side, but it's an IPA. I mean, it, it's going to have some bitterness to it. Uh, very citrusy and floral. Uh, a little bit of lighter fruit in there. Uh, oranges, maybe a little bit of lemon. Uh, it's, 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 it's everything you want in a session IPA. Now, I mean, it's not a damn stone enjoy by or anything like that where the hops are just going to blow the top of your head off but it, it, it does have uh, some nice uh, fruitiness to it and citrusiness to it with the uh, orange oranges and the lemons and stuff going on so very decent beer I mean uh, it is very tasty and as far as dating I don't know if they're dating their stuff or not I can't tell if it's a smudge or a date on it I don't think they are. I don't see anything on it, guys. So, uh, this is a, a new offering from these guys. And uh, they may be dating the, the carton or the six pack, but they need to uh, they need to date each bottle. I mean, uh, I know it's a, an expensive process, but I thought they were dating their stuff. Like I said, it may be on the case or maybe on the six pack or something. I just bought one. And a lot of the beer stores in Virginia sell them as one, and where I bought this one, uh, that's how they you could buy it either buy one of the single or you could buy the six pack of them. So uh, I bought one just to give it a try, and uh, it is very pleasant. It's very nice. It's actually uh, not quite strong enough for me, but I mean, if you're uh, if you're having some friends over uh, for some kind of lunchtime get together or or whatever and you don't want everybody inebriated when they leave it would be a good choice to pick up uh, very nice uh, let's do the final show here guys the biggest aspect is very citrusy I mean a nice bitterness on the back end a little on the heavy side if you're not accustomed to drinking IPAs so I don't know if this would be, would be a good one if you're drinking a macro lager you probably ought to take it a step at a time maybe up to maybe a blonde ale and then a pale ale and, and then then uh, a lighter maybe a session IPA to get into the IPAs but I, I enjoyed it I thought it was very tasty uh, I don't think it's uh, to the tin aspect, it's not blowing my hair back or my socks off or anything, and I was stuck between uh, 
uh, a B plus or an A minus, and if it had, it had a date on it, I would probably gave it the eight, which is the A minus. But I have no date on the bottle, and like I said, they may be dating the six pack or the case, but it needs to be on the bottle. So Ryan, get your damn dating thing going for your bottles, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna give it the uh, the seven, which is a B plus. It's definitely above average beer, very tasty, no alcohol taste whatsoever to me. Nice citrusy floral hop presence there. Uh, oranges, lemons, maybe some lighter fruit in there. So uh, definitely a tasty beer. Uh, I would buy this beer again. I uh, definitely would. Uh, it is a uh, nice session IPA guy. So that's where I'm going to leave it. We'll go over to Beer Advocate. And Beer Advocate says 83 in their good range. It is a good beer. If I was putting a numeric rating on this, it would probably be between 87 and 89, somewhere in that area. And over to Rake Beer. Rake Beer says requires more ratings, no scores. So not enough people. Let's see how many have rated it. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've had eight people write reviews on it and give ratings. I don't know how many they have to have before they consider giving it a rating. I would think eight would be enough, but every day they think eight is not enough. So that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think. The distribution for popular beers is getting bigger and bigger. They're all over Virginia, and I don't know how far out of Virginia they're going. So you may be able to pick this up in North Carolina or Tennessee or, or, or some of the uh, uh, adjoining states there. So the, the distributor that handles their beers is getting their stuff out. So with that being said, if you've had it, let me know, guys, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. Maybe I think I'm going to shoot for a 10. What do you think? Come on back. Let's see.